Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on to talk about something that just happened and I think that you may be able to relate to it. Have you ever told somebody like you're feeling some sort of way, uh, you know, if you're feeling sad, for example, or you're feeling anxious or depressed and they say to you, don't feel that way. Do you know what it feels like when you're feeling some sort of way and you tell someone I'm feeling this kind of way and they say don't feel that way? It's like, no shit, Sherlock. If I could try to shake this feeling off, I would. Do you think I want to sit here in this state of depression and anxiety? Like, it's just very, very frustrating. And so what I really want to come on and say is this. So I was talking to a family member and they said to me, don't feel depressed. I woke up today feeling a little down. Um, I just took a shower. It's The sun is coming out. I'm already feeling exponentially better than I was this morning. Um, it's like the second, it's the second day of my period. I was just not feeling my best, right? My best. But like, I cannot always feel my best all the time. You know what I mean? Like I am human. We have a range of emotions that we go through. So when this family member of mine said to me, don't feel that way. First of all, I got like so annoyed on the inside, but this is what I said. I said, if I don't allow myself to feel whatever I'm feeling, it is going to explode. It is going to be 10 times worse for me if I don't just allow myself to do the little things that I need to do to just take care of myself right now. Nice shower, love the shampoo that I used, took a really hot shower, felt really good, put a blast of cold water at the end. I feel great, shaved my legs, have a little perfume on, I feel good. I already feel a little better. But what doesn't help is when somebody says to you, don't feel that way. It's kind of like, have you ever had something on your to-do list and you know you gotta get it done and you're like, I'll, hold, I'll put it off, I'll put it off. You're like, I'm not gonna do it now, I'm not gonna do it now. These are the, those of you who refer to yourself as procrastinators, you're not procrastinators. Don't call yourself a procrastinator because that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But that's a whole nother video. But have you ever noticed that when you keep putting something off and putting something off, it becomes like more and more and more pressing on your mind. You're like, oh man, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. And then you just are like, okay, forget it. I'm just not even gonna think about it anymore. And then like down the road, you're like, man, I should have dealt with that, right? That's the same thing with your emotions. So I'm actually really happy that this family member said this to me because it reminded me of how far I've come. Like, it's like, you know what? I am not gonna just put on a happy face and be like, whoa, everything's great. Like I woke up feeling some sort of way. I felt a little heavy mentally, physically, emotionally, just kind of heavy today with, you know, being quarantined and this and that. And I am going to get out and go for a walk. But like when they said, don't feel that way, it made me realize like, I have nothing to fix right here. This feeling that's going on through me needs to just move through me and it'll move through me when I just allow it to move through me. And so I did the little bit that I could do for myself right now, which was take a shower, wash my hair, put on a little perfume, put on a little Burt's Bees, like whatever, and I actually feel better. So what I wanna say to you is this, if you're feeling some sort of way, I'm gonna say don't. <laughs> don't tell yourself not to feel that way. That's the first thing. I want you to feel how you feel and acknowledge it and allow it and be like, man, I'm feeling kinda shitty right now. Okay, what's an act of love for myself right now? And if you can come up with even like one thing, one little, little, little thing. Here's the thing, loving yourself is not complicated. Not knowing how to love yourself is what feels complicating, complicated. Do you know what I mean? Like I used to think that loving myself was this like huge ordeal and huge task, like, oh my God. But it was because I didn't know what I needed. But the minute I knew what I needed, loving myself became actually simpler. I'm a simple bitch. Love nice showers, nice lotions, oils, have my face, my hair washed. That makes me happy. Find what makes you feel just a little bit better. Just a little bit, right? You gotta learn to love yourself and nurture yourself and cater to yourself. But do not, not allow yourself to feel your feelings, right? Like it's a, so it's, if I had to break it down, it's acknowledge how you feel, allow it, Give yourself permission to feel, do not judge it. Just be like, hmm, feeling some sort of way right now. Okay. Then it's like, well, what do I need right now in this moment? And the answer may not come to you right away, but if you give yourself enough time and quiet and silence to just hear what they, your insides are telling you, it will come to you. For me, it was a shower. Showers always help. But next time someone tells you or you tell yourself, because it's not always other people that are you know, that are our biggest obstacles. We are our biggest obstacles, right? Like 
the next time you tell yourself like, I shouldn't feel this way, I don't wanna feel this way, just remember that what you resist does persist. So if you're resisting feeling some sort of way, it's going to come out tenfold. It's going to explode outside, like just overflow, right? So allow yourself to feel it. Don't not let yourself feel any sort of way. Feel whatever you're feeling. Do what you gotta do to take care of yourself and keep it moving. I hope this helps and I love you. Take care.